Halftime Howie here in front of Billy's Beach Cafe. I'm with Amy, Susan, and Eric, and we're pumped up. Charlie McAvoy, I'm wearing his shirt, as you can see. Eric, you're wearing your Rangers shirt, are you pumped for the big game tonight? Absolutely, and go Charlie, I wanted to score a goal. Not the winning goal, though. So you wanted to play well, but oh, you yes. want the Rangers to win? Of course. All right, and guys, how pumped are you to see Charlie McAvoy, a Long Beach boy, come back to New York against the Rangers tonight with the Bruins? That's why we're here. All right. Oh, you got the girls? You don't need any more guys. <laughs> oh, so you guys ask your question. Who are you rooting for? The Rangers or the Bruins tonight? The Rangers. The Bruins. <laughs> the Rangers. The Rangers. The Rangers. Bruins. 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 Yeah. You can't root for anything, Boston. Be serious. Exactly. Or because oh, Charlie McAvoy is not playing for the Rangers. He's playing for the Bruins. Go Charles. Mix the boaches here. Uh, yeah, a little bit. The game has just begun, so we're watching uh, the Bruins. There he is, number 73, Charlie McAvoy. It's got to be such a thrill for him. Eric, playing in Madison Square Garden, because growing up in Long Beach, you had to be a Ranger fan. To play the very first time in Madison Square Garden, it's got to be an amazing thrill for Charlie for that. Absolutely. It's got to be very emotional. I'm sure his whole family and probably half of Long Beach is there right now, rooting him on. Absolutely. And it, let's face it, even though the, the island is always in Long Island... Who? Yeah, the Rangers... Long Beach has always been Ranger country, right? Absolutely. Take a look on the wall right there. Absolutely. You know, I kind of wish Pete Stumkowski was here tonight, but he's at the Garden. But he has been a Ranger fixture ever since the 70s here at Long Beach, and especially here at Billy's Beach Cafe. Yes, he has. Absolutely. See isn't it all that, the time. Isn't that funny that, you know, the Rangers trained here in the 70s, and they all left? But the Stemmer stayed, and it's been such a big part of the community. It's a, it's a, Long Beach is definitely Ranger Town. Unfortunately, well, you know what? When Charlie's a free agent, I'm sure he'll be a Ranger then. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell you, you know, my family is in Boston, and I, you know, I read the Boston papers, the Globe, and they actually compared him to Gronk. They said that the fans love him, the young girls are going gaga over him, and they're talking to Boston, but he's a, a really strong look at the Yick ending. Gronk? Oh my god, we won't even talk about the uh, Patriots, <laughs> anything with the Patriots. But uh, yeah, no, he, I'm sure he is. He's, he's gonna be. He's gonna be a real good asset to the Bruins. Unfortunately, to the Bruins. You know. And here's the thing. How about this? You know, this family really lucked out because in the draft, you gotta get, could have got picked by Vancouver, Las Vegas, Edmonton, Winnipeg, but he gets picked by Boston. So it's a short four-hour trip. So. What a great thing for a family that Charlie, even though he didn't play with the Rangers, Devils, the Islanders, is four hours away in Boston. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, you know, and he went to college out there, right? So, yeah, for uh, you. Yes. So, I mean, it worked out for the best. And I, and I hope only the best for him and his family. I know they're very good here, good people here. Um, actually, they, yeah, they're my plumber. They were my plumber. So, uh, you know, I don't know the family that well, but a good group of people out there. Yeah, I've heard stories about uh, Charlie Sr. rescuing people in the water. It's just a wonderful family. And I think a lot of people in Long Beach are really proud, especially tonight. Absolutely. Actually, uh, if you were here uh, for the playoffs, they really, really were proud when he got called up last year, you know, uh, last year for the playoffs. So I can't wait to... He's gonna, he's gonna be a, an all-star within the next year or two. Definitely, he's gonna be a, in the NHL for for many years to come. You know, and he's not to brag, but he's really in a a, a, a tradition of great defensemen. You know, you go back to Bobby Orr, Brad Park, Raymond Bork, Zeno Chara. 
you know, he's, he's, he's filling in with a tradition of really great defensemen who played for the Bruins, and he's the next one in line. Yeah, don't remind me. I, <laughs> we lost quite a few games with a couple of those players. Ray Borg really killed us a few times, so yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> yeah. And it's really great because Zeno Chara has been the guy for the last eight, nine years, but he's, he's almost 40, so his career is almost over, and Charlie really is the guy now. Good person to learn from, too. Good. I'm sure he's learning a lot from him. How about this scenario? And it almost happened last year. I mean, this is fun. It's a regular season game. But let's say the Rangers and the Bruins play in the playoffs. Then it would be really something. It would be outstanding. And it, it would be incredible. I, I, I hope it happens. I really do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Right. I'm always here if Billy's watching during the playoffs all the time. Yeah, it's great. It is. All right, number 73 is on the ice right now. Eric, thanks a lot for uh, sharing with us tonight. We'll have a fun night here. Come. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. All right, Rich Kaplan here, uh, Ranger fan. Uh, this is a cool night with a, a Long Beach legend, a group of Long Beach Charlie Mack, we're playing at MSG for the first time. Big night. Huge night. I think that Mackerel's going to have a good game. Um, it's, there's nothing like Garden Ice. Anyone will tell you. Any Ranger fan will tell you. There's nothing like Madison Square Garden. You make it there, you make it anywhere. And uh, he's playing with the uh, Bruins tonight. It's going to be an extra big thrill. Growing up in Long Beach, following the Rangers, and now getting to play in MSG for the Bruins for the very first time. Extra special tonight. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you can, you can feel the energy here in um, Billy's. I mean, everybody's pulling for this kid. Even Ranger fans are pulling for this kid. And he's got eight goals out of 13. I mean, that's just it's remarkable. I mean, he's an amazing player. I, I expect a lot of good things from him. All right. Thanks a lot, Rich Kaplan. No score yet, but it's early, but Charlie looks good. Doesn't he? Number 73 for the Boston Bruins. I was going to ask you what number was. Number 73, Charlie McAvoy. Absolutely. No Long Beach. So, what's your name? All right, Jill. It's a tough night. Did you know Charlie McAvoy? Uh, not personally. He's here in the town. But just the fact he's from Long Beach playing against the Rangers. Give me a little mixed feelings tonight. Yeah, definitely. So who are you rooting for? Rangers or Bruins tonight? Charlie. Alright, so Bruins. So even though you're rooting for Rangers. No, 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 I did not say Bruins. I said Charlie. You voted for Charlie. So you're rooting for Charlie to have a new game. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Alright, that's it. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Lee. The Rangers have been hot lately. Eric, we gotta say this, the Rangers are on a four game winning streak. What do you think turned you around? We got off to a slow start. 373 now, they've won four in a row, they just took the lead. What do you think turned you around for the Rangers? Honestly, I think uh, AB is uh, really on the hot seat, so he needed to win. If he, was, if he wasn't gonna win, he was gonna lose his job. That's the honest truth. You know, I think uh, hopefully the players are playing for him now. I think sometimes, like when you get off to a bad start, players get a little uptight and, and press, and now that they've won a few games in a row, they're a lot more relaxed and confident. Yeah, I think so. You know, the Rangers have a very young team, too, so you got a lot of young kids that. You know, you got Bucinevich and um, BC and a couple of kids that are really starting up. And uh, AB is, I guess, apparently finally starting to give him some time to play. So, it you know, it takes a little while to gel, especially young. All right, good point. Did they score? Bruins just tied it up. Yes, they did. It looks like it. All right, so we're going to have a fun game today. Yeah, it might be Two fun. Two goals right away. Yeah, it might be fun. All right, thanks, sir. The Rangers have just scored two quick goals, take a 3-1 lead, so the Rangers are hot. And the Charlie's Bruins having a rough night so far, but it's early in the first period. There's the McAvoy family and Charlie. All right, let's give it up for 